Hi, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on the HP DeskJet 2722 setup and review. What comes in the box? First thing we have is the HP DeskJet 2722 printer itself. Then we have two ink cartridges, a power cord, and some literature as well as the setup guide. And then we can go ahead and remove some of the packing tape here and open up the output paper tray and also open up the input paper tray. And as we can see, we can remove the film underneath the scanner as well. All right, now the first thing that we're supposed to do is follow these three steps. And the first step is to power up the printer by plugging in the power cord here. We'll turn the printer around very quickly and plug that in there and plug the other end of the plug into an AC wall outlet. Now let's go ahead and press the power button on the printer here and power it up and you will see the power light blink a couple of times and then the LED light will come on and also at the same time the two ink cartridges slots in the printer will center up to allow the insertion of the ink cartridges into the new printer but first let's go ahead and put some paper into the input tray here and then we can come back and install the new ink cartridges that came with our new printer here and the first one on the left is a tricolor cartridge and the one on the right is a black cartridge and we're going to go ahead and unpackage these very quickly and insert them into the ink cartridge slots within the printer itself. And while I'm doing this, let me point out one or two things. Historically, ink cartridges can be messy, so be careful how you're handling them. You could possibly get some ink on your fingers. And also that they are a real pain in the butt to insert into the ink cartridges slots because they only go in in one way and one way only. And sometimes you got to jiggle them a little bit in order to get them to be angled just right so that they will fit into the uh, slots correctly. And as you can see, I did have a little bit of a difficult time putting the black one in just because I didn't have the angle right when I was inserting it into the ink cartridge slot. But keep in mind that a good indicator that you've inserted them correctly into the slots is that just prior to them being placed in the proper position, they make a little snapping noise to let you know that they're in there securely and locked in position. Now let me very quickly point out that there's a little picture down here that shows um, you know, that the tricolor cartridge goes on the left and the black cartridge goes on the right. Once you're finished inserting the cartridges, you can go ahead and close the lid here and then we can go over to the computer and open up an internet browser where we can download and install the HP Smart Software. And this is the URL address right here 123.hp.com okay let's go down here now and we'll type in the product number and in this case it's going to be the HP space deskjet space 2722 and once you have that typed in go ahead and click on next and that takes us to our next page here where we can one make sure your printer is powered on to install HP smart to complete setup now keep in mind if you had a smartphone like an Apple, you could install your um, HP Smart from your App Store. Or if you had an Android, you can definitely go to Google Play and install it. This is a laptop computer, so I'm going to install HP Smart right there. And it takes me to the Microsoft Store, which is okay. That's where we need to get the HP Smart software from. And it's free, so once you see it come up under results, go ahead and click on it and then it provides me the ability to go ahead and click on get and I'm going to do that so that I can get this HP smart and then it comes back and says use across your devices and if you want to you need to sign into the Microsoft Store but I don't want to go ahead and use it across all my devices so I said no and then it gives me the download here and it will take a couple of minutes keep in mind and uh, you know it all depends on the speed and performance of your computer and your internet how long it takes to install once you get this screen go ahead and click on launch and then you'll get the welcome to HP smart 
and then click on continue and then it will guide you through the steps necessary to complete the setup of your printer with your Wi-Fi network and once that's done you'll get the HP DeskJet 2700 all-in-one is ready and as you can see here I am doing a test print from notepad and I went ahead and clicked on print and go over to the printer here and it's printing out right this second really quick actually and as you can see the clarity and the print is good and easy to read and now you can see that I am printing another page here and this happens to be a print head alignment page now whenever you get a new printer and you want to get the best print quality you need to align your print heads and this is how you do it you print this out first and then once you have it printed out you can go ahead and put it in the scanner and it scans it for you and then it aligns the print heads for you automatically and this is all done through um, the software so it's easy to do and you can see that in the HP smart software and it shows you how to go about printing this page now keep in mind down the road when you finish printing out maybe a couple of hundred uh, pages of print that you notice that uh, some of your printouts are um, you know not looking as good as they should or as good as you expect them to and it could very well be that the print head alignment is out and uh, you might have to do this a couple of times um, within the lifetime of a printer so keep that in mind and it will always um, improve your print quality and it never hurts to do this it does not do any harm to the printer and it can only help you out okay um, that's um, some really nice printouts there and let me go ahead and grab that off the top and as you can see the print quality is very good the printouts look great to me the blacks are very dark and bright and the color looks great the alignment looks great as well if anything about this printer that I didn't like would be the fact that it prints a little bit on the slow side and I really think that uh, you know that's acceptable because based on uh, the cost of $24 you know I can accept that it prints a little bit slower than most printers do alright do I like this printer yes um, it is not the best quality built printer I believe that this printer will be good for you for a short period of time before you might want to get a better one or more expensive one. All right, um, that's the end of this video, and I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like, and leave a like if you like, and remember to share.